likes guys called Riley. And Pittsburgh, you've got yourself a guy called Riley. Wouldn't be surprised to see Ryan follow. So, what is this? Uh, you've given up a third next year. You've got Riley Smith for two years at $5 million a year. He's a perennial 15 to 20 to 25 goal scorer, which is good. You know, uh, Vegas is offloading a contract, and Pittsburgh's got themselves some help. I don't know if it's too much money. It's only two years, which is good. And it's $5 million. It's It's okay, isn't it? It's all right. I think Dubas may have done well on this trade. The concern is the age and the player slowing down. And you've done... Dubis, just hear me out here. Dubas has done what he did in Toronto with this trade. You don't see it yet. You're going to be like, no, no, we're all excited, Riley Smith. Look, Riley Smith is slowing down. His production is going down. He may or may not be value for money at 34 years old in two years. But you've lost a third rounder. Now, 10% of third rounders become NHL players. But what's happening is he's picking away at your future to make you better now. And the problem is in two years, is he going to be part of a team that's strong enough to win a cup? And if not, why not keep the pick, and use the pick, and build the team post-Crosby? This is what I'm saying. You look at, and it was the same in Toronto, you look at a trade and go, ooh, wow, we got Ryan O'Reilly. Yeah, we don't have his first round pick anymore, and whoever uses that pick is going to be happy with their first rounder that they have a good chance of turning into a player for the next decade for you know, or getting them on a you know, contract. So this is Dubas. Pittsburgh fans, this is what Dubas does. You're going to see him trading more picks for immediate success. I'll give you an example. Jake Muzzin. We got Jake Muzzin for a first-round pick for Carl Grundstrom and Sean Dursey. Dursey and Grundstrom... Well, Dersey's been traded, sorry, but uh, Dersey's offensive defenseman, maybe we didn't need him. We drafted him, I, I don't know, but why do we need him? Grunstrom's a good bottom uh, two-line center. And they drafted Bjorn Foote, who is on the fringes, I think. I don't know, I'll have to double-check that one, but actually had a good season with LA. But, you, you know, the point being that the Leafs had something. And then what happened with Muzzin? He was 32. He was already beaten up. He was already concussed. Got another concussion. We got two years out of him. Production wasn't that good. Didn't play very well against Tampa. Lost the puck on the boards to Nick Paul, who scored, knocking the Leafs out. See what I'm saying? We'll see how she goes.